loudly to ensure that you can hear me. Um, I want to speak about something that is not an easy thing to look at, but it is absolutely the truth and the Lord has really been shining the light on it for me. You know, the only judge is the only one who is supposed to be judge, who is called judge, is God, not us. This is very interesting. When we judge, that same measure of judgment comes back at us. In other words, judgment is a sin. It's a great sin. So when we judge others, we literally open the door for the enemy to come in and torment us. Now, when we get hurt and angry, we tend to judge. So if we have enough of those repeated scenarios in our lives and we don't get convicted of the judgmental sin, we're actually inviting a sin of torment into our lives. Yeah, the spirit of torment into our lives. And it can happen to any of us humans, but we have to repent and turn away from that and repent to God. And he would say, I, I mentioned this in the last video, he would say, now, um, you've repented, now go and sin no more. And so, um, we do not have a right to judge others. Yes, we are called to judge rightly for our lives about a situation if it pertains to us, make judgments about our lives, but we are not called to judge and it is a huge sin to judge others. And to the measure of which we judge, it will be measured back to us, but we're literally opening the door and every time we don't repent of that, we're opening the door more and more and more and more to the enemy. And you could expect a spirit of torment to pounce on you, absolutely. You know, Yeshua said, take this plank, big piece of wood out of your own eye before you tell your neighbor about the splinter in theirs. And so God is the only judge and the temptation of man is to judge and to speak badly. And you know, I once heard it said many years ago that the kingdom of murder has these underlings and it starts at anger, un un unforgiveness, resentment, bitterness. A root of bitterness can even become violence and it can even become murder if it's left unchecked because it's, it's, that door has swung wide open for hatred. So we need to nip it in the bud. And it's so interesting because God uses the enemy himself because the enemy in sin is like a magnet to try to keep us on the straight and narrow. Because after all, he's God's devil. You know, he, yeah, he fell from heaven. He was the most beautiful angel, Lucifer. But God uses him absolutely to refine us. So, food for thought. God bless you from the Mediterranean Sea. It is.